TOEFL Speaking Task 6. Let's talk about the sixth question of the TOEFL Speaking Task. This is the last question on the speaking section. So let's finish in style. This question has two parts. First, we will hear a recording which will normally be a part of a lecture about an academic topic. Secondly, we are then asked a question about the lecture and have 60 seconds to answer it. The question is pretty simple as we don't need to read anything or adopt a position. We just listen carefully to a lecture, take notes, and then explain what has been said. So this is a great chance to really focus on speaking English. In order to do that we will need to be prepared. This lesson will explain how to be prepared to answer that question. Let's begin with the listening to the lecture which is normally a couple of minutes long and will contain a lot of information. The question is going to ask you questions about that, that information. So to help us remember it we take notes. That's the most important tip for this question, you should take as many notes as you can, the more notes we have the more prepared we will be to answer the question. So let's discuss the question that will be asked for example let's say that the lecture was about the natural defenses of plants and gave a couple of examples of how plants defend themselves against predators. Everyone knows that some plants are poisonous. But what constitutes a poison to one organism may very well be an inert compound to another. Birds, for example, are unfazed by uraciol, the toxic oil produced by poison ivy, and in fact seem to love the berries produced by the plants. Monarch butterfly caterpillars chomp on milkweed and sequester the glycosides produced by the plant in their own tissues, making them poisonous to predators. Of course, humans have turned all manner of plant poisons to their own devious ends. From the chrysanthemum derived pyrethrins used as insecticides to the castor bean derived ricin, which Walter White of Breaking Bad attempted to use to eliminate his enemies on several occasions, and which was successfully used in the 1978 assassination of a Bulgarian writer. Chemical Signaling Plants that are attacked by browsers or insect pests or subjected to stressful conditions, such as drought or microbial infection, may warn other plants of the impending crises by releasing volatile, organic compounds, VOCs, which precipitate physiological reactions in nearby plants. They may increase concentrations of toxic compounds to ward off the enemy, or they may release compounds of their own that attract the enemy's predators. Some recent experiments have shown that plants also communicate through chemicals released by their root and even via networks of fungal symbionts. Using examples from the lecture described two kinds of natural defenses that plants use, that's all we don't need to think of any new ideas about plants or anything like that. We just need to explain what was said in the lecture if we took good notes we should be ready to do just that. Now all we have to do is provide some structure in our response. The best way to do that is in three parts. In the first part describe the main topic or idea of the lecture. In the second part give an example poison. And finally in the third part give another example. Chemical signaling. Using the example from the lecture describing two kinds of natural fences that plants use. Let's say that the lecture finds natural defenses and then explains how they are used by plants. Then the first part of your answer could explain what natural defenses are. The second part could talk about the natural defenses using poison. Last part talk about the natural defenses of plants using chemical signaling. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. But do remember to use your time wisely. You have only 60 seconds to give your response. The simplest thing to do is just Divide it up into three. Spend 20 seconds on each of the three parts of your response. Try using this template. Question 6. Academic Lecture. The lecture is about. The professor illustrates this concept using two main examples. First, she talks about, she says that. Secondly, 
she speaks about, in her opinion. Try that at home using a timer to get familiar with exactly how long 60 seconds lasts. You want to be sure to finish your response in time. If you finish too quickly that's okay. You can just add a brief conclusion to your answer. So to sum up in order that the speaking question in task 6 is answered correctly we want to be sure to take good notes from the recording. Once we've done this we should use our notes to give a three-part response, spending about 20 seconds on each part, if you feel you are not able to perfect the summary of the lecture. Don't attach too much importance. Remember the point of this test is to evaluate your ability to speak English. So your main goal should be to speak English as best as you can. If you do that and follow our advice here you can get a great score on the speaking section but remember the best way to prepare for the TOEFL is to watch our videos over and over again and practice. Listen to the lecture and write down a three-part response. Mm -hmm.